What is up lads, it is the Midnight Kid here back with another eFootball 2022 gameplay video and today it's just a short one, we're taking a quick look, there isn't going to be that much in-depth analysis but we are going to be looking at stunning shot again and how the keepers react to that and does is it a difference maker and we're also going to be looking at the behaviour of the goalkeeper themselves which I think that there's a lot of unique animations with the goalkeepers now that they don't seem to be kind of like superhero, superhuman goalkeepers making these like crazy saves, you know, a lot of the animations that are there now like look realistic and look a lot more uh, natural and organic when they're happening, you know, they make mistakes where you're thinking, ah, oh, he should be getting to that. Um, and it just depends what you kind of want out of a goalkeeper. If you want to play like eFootball at the moment with Dream Team, it's going to be an online predominant mode. Like, you need your goalkeepers to be solid, but you need your the best goalkeepers and the highest rated goalkeepers to be more consistent. Still make the odd mistake here and there if you're peppering the goals, but, like, save easy shots, make the odd mistake here and there over a high ball or with manual goalkeeper uh, actions or anything like that. But for the most part, you know, you need them to be consistent and you need them to be able to be dependable. Uh, and I think from this, there is a very, very nice balance here as we're just going through the clips. As I said, like Lewandowski, probably the best striker in the game compared to Arthur there who takes a shot. One was stunning shot, the other was just a plain shot. And here again, you can see a normal shot here, but the goalkeeper is just reacting very well to it, knows it's going out. Um, and again, this is probably my favorite clip. You can see here, the Gea just swallows up the Arsenal attack and tries to make a really nice block and it saves it off the inside of his knee so there's a lot of like unique kind of stuff in it you can see there dragged wide with just a normal shot you can see here again with the with this stunning shot gets a little bit more power and accuracy on the bottom corner like if you're going to want to be scoring goals in a football game you need to have it that there is a skill gap there that the player that is playing needs to be able to finish that it can't just be like press a button and score you know or power up the button halfway and score so balance and stunning shot will be very important, but also balancing the keepers. Like, look at this; these two interactions here, these two saves. So first you've got the Gea, uh, who makes a fantastic save, and then a very, very similar clip where Sancho comes in late, and Danilo could do better there, but again, the keeper could do better as well. But I, I kind of like that variety. Now, again, it all comes down to balance. Like, we're doing these videos based on clips. You know, by this time tomorrow, we'll all be playing it. In a couple of hours' time, we'll all be playing it. Uh, so we'll have our own thoughts and our own opinions on it and we'll have proper proper time on it and analysis where we're able to dwell into what needs to be worked on what needs to be uh, fixed like you can see here again Pedri has probably no right to get in here um, but the keeper kind of should be getting to that but again that depends on how realistic you want the keepers do you want them superhuman do you want them like a little uh prone to error prone to mistakes let me know in the comments below but i think that there's a nice balance like with all these clips here there's there's a lot of clips here um that you're seeing so just wanted to highlight that lads because a lot of people were asking me about the stunning shot you know it doesn't seem to be an automatic goal i would check back on my last video that i did where i go into that in really really uh high depth um so yeah let me know what you think in the comments below what you think of the goalies in this and the balance of you know shooting on target shooting at the goalie and the goalie letting them in what type of goals he saves or potential goals he saves let me know if you think that the balance is good until then lads i will be back tomorrow beasting on eFootball 22 peace